Okay, so today I'm checking out the Litchi app for the first time. I'm going to go to Litchi Hub. And uh, so I've been using the DJI Go 4 app for the past five or six months or so, and everything's been pretty fine except for recently I was now not able to get the Waypoints feature to work. Um, and I'm running the latest firmware, so whatever. So I'm going to just try out the Litchi app and see how things go from there. So. I'm going to go into the missions down here at the bottom, click open, and I'll show you a mission that I just created. It's called the Cathedral Mission Point of Interest. Um, this is a new mission. That, um, so I've never really used Litchi in the past, so this would be kind of my first run through on a, an actual location. Um, I did fly around a football field briefly, but just, that was just to check out the, you know, the app itself. Um, so this is my first mission where you know, I'm going around this, this newly constructed cathedral. I've got it set up as the point of interest um, with this little photo icon here. Each of my waypoints going around in a counterclockwise order are at 276 feet in the air. All right, so it stays perfectly level there. And then when I come around this corner here, I do a right to left pass through at 150 feet in the air or thereabouts um, because I wanted to get a much lower pan from right to left. Um, to get a better shot of the cathedral kind of at a, not really a ground level, but at a height that, that I'm not looking down at the cathedral. So it looks right across the rooftop here, right across the dome. There's a bell tower here, and then way off in the distance is the downtown skyline of the city where I live. So I thought it would be a nice shot. So I'm gonna show you that um, and see how it goes. So next we'll go out to the site and we'll run the mission. And I'll be running from you know, over in this field over here. So what I'm going to do is just fly over to the first waypoint and then just let it run automatically and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so first we'll take off from the field I've talked about and just do the focus just to make sure everything is in focus. Um, in the top left screen, the look is a little bit different on this app. But you can see I'm flying in first person view. FPV view. So I'm just going to go over to the site real quickly and speed up that part of the video. Alright, so I click on the first person view, click on the waypoint feature, and then over here I'll click on the folder. I'm going to select the Cathedral Mission Point of Interest and load that. speed this section up a little bit. So it's kind of cool you can see all the waypoints laid out exactly like I had on the screen on my laptop. Just doing a little check here. You hit the play button on the left hand side and just hit go and that will load the mission to your Mavic or to your Phantom either one. Takes a little bit of time but not more than 30 seconds or so to upload the mission. All right, so then it just goes and initializes and then it starts um, increasing in altitude at first because I was like 150 feet and it has to get up to 256 feet, I think is what it was set for. And then it just starts making a beeline over towards waypoint number one. And you'll see as it gets to waypoint number one, it just whips around with the camera and directly directly looks at the point of interest that I pre-programmed as expected. So it's kind of neat. Right there, it just whips around and then it just starts going into the POI around this new cathedral. So this section here, I've got sped up to you know 200%, so it's a little bit faster than normal, but um, but you get the idea. It's very smooth, and it hits each one of those point of interest. And you can see in the bottom right-hand screen of the capture that I have there. And the thing that's neat is when it goes around, um, I think the difference between this and something like the POI feature on the DJI Go 4 app is when you have a structure that's not perfectly circular, it allows you to 
place the waypoints in such a way that it still keeps the pan smooth or the orbit smooth. Like in this case, it's the you know the, the outline of the cross, and so it's going to go a little bit longer as it goes from the top of the cross down to the bottom of the cross. And then this is the one where it goes a little bit lower in altitude, panning across from right to left, and again it's still sped up 200%. So, and coming up next is what the actual footage looks like. So as you can see, every once in a while, out of all that, you'll get one clip that is worth saving, and um, so I'm pretty happy with this shot right here.